Hi everyone, this is Agnes from No Sediment and today we're going to talk about how to spot Riesling in a blind tasting. But before we begin, make sure to watch my other videos about the wine tastings where I discuss topics such as appearance, nose and palette of the wine. I will link them in the description below. Riesling is probably one of the coolest grape varieties. Ask any sommelier, wine professional or enthusiast which is their favorite white grape variety and Riesling will pop up quite often. It is also one of my favorite grape varieties, which is why two thirds of my white wine collection is made from Riesling. Because I love Riesling so much and to be honest, I enjoy it quite often, I thought it would be very easy for me to spot it in the blind tasting. However, in my Master of Wine studies, I have missed it several times already. So, Riesling is considered an aromatic grape variety, and that means that you do not need to dig your nose in the glass to find its aromas. Its aromatics vary from fresh citrus notes such as lime and lemon, to floral notes such as white blossom, it could also show ripe stone fruits and even notes of melon, honey and mango. Lack of oak aromatics such as vanilla and sweet toast could also point to a Riesling grape variety as it is almost never aged in new oak barrels. People now discuss whether it is a fault or not, but Riesling with age tends to develop notes of petrol. At first the idea to smell petrol in the wine might seem icky, but trust me, when it is only slightly felt and is mixed within ripe citrus fruits, white peaches and honey, it adds towards the complexity, which is absolutely amazing. On the palate, Riesling tends to have very high acidity level. It's almost searing. I know what you must be thinking now. Riesling and high acidity level? Well, that can be right. The thing is, because of its high acidity level, it is often made with some residual sugar. If you think of slice of lemon, it is very high in acidity, and no matter how much sugar you put on it, it will still have very high acidity level, even though you might not feel it anymore. Nowadays, one of the greatest acids of Riesling is that it develops relatively low alcohol levels. To find one with 13.5 degrees of alcohol, you must really put an effort. Depending where it's from, it can be sleek and linear in body, for example, Mosel Wally in Germany, or it can be rich and even oily if it comes from Alsace in France, or Wachau Smaragd Level from Austria. So, if you have a white wine in your glass with piercingly high acidity level, maybe some residual sugar, and low alcohol levels that is combined together with very high aromatic profile and no oak influence, chances are good that this wine is made from Riesling. 